Hello again. It's so very good to see you. Certainly. How can I help you? I'm so very glad you returned to us. Did you find the village of the Dark Elves? What happened since you left us? So, Min Garad is a woman. I'd very much like to meet her. So do I. So do I. And what did you find out from this Min Garad? So, the Black Mountain Clan was banished in order to help Aranex weaken the wards. He's really coming back. We elves are a magical race and wise to the ways of ruin and prophecy. But I never really thought... Regardless, we must act. You must speak to my mother. She may be able to see what is to be done. Hello again, Traveler. Yes, I knew you'd return to me. And it seems that you still walk the shore. This gladdens me. It means that you've chosen the right path, Traveler. At least, right in the way that you see things. I am happy for you. Of course. What is the question? Your answer lies with Nazaruddin. <laughs> you have your answer, Traveler. We won't be speaking again. Hello again. It's so very good to see you. Certainly. How can I help you? Of course. What did you want to talk about? Min Garad. What did she see? Hello again. Certainly. How can I help? You did. And what did she tell you? That's very, very odd. Because Nazruddin has been dead for more than 2,000 years. Yes, it would seem so. Yes, I know. At least that's the story. As I've said, I don't know the details. Yes, it is very strange. My recommendation is that you travel to Caledon. There you will find the first temple of the Panari and perhaps some more answers. Good luck. I hope this turns out well for all of us. Greetings. It's good to see you again. And again I thank you. I have assumed my rightful place as King of the Dwarves. I've made peace with my past, but have not forgotten its lessons. Tell me, have you found anything out about the fate of the Black Mountain Clan? This reaches much further than even I thought. The fate of Arcanum itself hangs in the balance. It seems it is again my place to make things right. I mean that your friend here is not the only dwarf in Arcanum who's willing to take part in this quest. Tell me, young brother, who are you? Uh, yes, your uh, majesty. I am uh, Magnus Shalefist, sir, at your uh, service, sir. Magnus Shalefist, eh? It's a pleasure to meet you, Magnus. I don't believe I've ever heard the name of Shalefist. Which clan are you of? 
What clan, you ask? Uh, well, uh, you see, uh, Your Majesty, that's uh, a bit complicated. I mean, I'm, I'm from one of the oldest. Uh, oh, there's no use in lying to you. I don't know what clan I'm from. My family hasn't known for a long time. I see. Listen, lad. A dwarf carries his clan in his heart. No time nor distance can keep you apart from them, and eventually a dwarf always comes home. Do you understand, Magnus? Yes, Your Majesty. It's just that I've looked for them for so long. I want so much to be able to find them, or to know who they were. I want so much to be a part of dwarven history, to make a difference. You're doing that already, lad. You've done enough to make any clan proud. Arcanum is in need of heroes, and you've heeded the call. I am ready to heed that call as well. I'm saying that I mean to do whatever is necessary to avenge my people and save our world. Yes, I think you would be a fine companion. I've already made preparations. Should we leave now? Yes, to whatever awaits us. What is it you need? What do you want to know? What do I know about this place? You must be jesting. The Wheel Clan is my home. I know what is it you need? What do you want to know? I think that we should look for the grave of that old elf. Something about all of this doesn't feel quite right, but I can't quite place the feeling. What is it you need? Yes, what is it? What is it you need? What do you want to know? have returned. Tell me, what news? It can't be. What possible purpose could that have served? But why? And to think my life has been conducted under the shadow of guilt for no reason, save it fit the heinous machinations of the Dark Elves. I must think on this. But here... Please take these coins for all your troubles. You have returned! Can I help you?
Greetings, my friend. It seems... Well, it seems we both have come a long way. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me back. These men... They were the men who killed my brother, Lawrence. I had come here tonight to confront my past once and for all. I knew that it would most certainly lead to my own death, but I just couldn't run from it any longer. Yes, it no longer holds any power over me. Before I met you, before I met Joaquin, I was very different. I was a criminal, really, an evil man. There's no other way to say it, and I don't mind admitting it to you now. I lived my life like a dead man. Well, at least in the sense that I used to view such things. I cared very little for anything at all. I lived only from moment to moment. No sense of right or wrong. I stole or lied or even killed with no thought for morality or consequence. And the men I associated with were the same way. Such lives feed upon themselves. My family moved to Caledon when I was younger. Lawrence and I were close in our early years, but the life I chose to lead as I grew older was repulsive to him. We finally had a falling out. At the time, I didn't care. The dead have no family and remember not their pasts. This place is a place for the walking dead, a place where men gather to feed their darker sides. I knew it well, too well. I spent a lot of time here, time and money. I also gambled with men who make a living doing so, and one night, I lost more money than I had. I was threatened physically when I couldn't pay, but what is pain to dead men? I laughed and bled and spat on them. It was only then that they threatened to kill my brother if I didn't pay. Of course, I thought it was only a threat, and really, in the end, I didn't feel anything about the matter. I'd left all that behind me, or at least that's what I thought. I can't tell you the pain which tore open my very soul when I found Lawrence, bleeding and broken, life gone out of him. I cursed myself and the gods and everything else I had forsaken, and I ran. I ran so far and so fast that I don't remember anything until I woke up on the doorstep of the Panari Temple, where Joaquin took me in. Yes, and doesn't that seem like so very long ago, Virgil? I am Elder Joaquin. Yes, it is I. I must apologize. I have been so busy trying to find out who is trying to kill you and why that I neglected to consider the fact that you might need my help in other matters. But you are alive, and so I rejoice. I'd heard that Virgil was back in Caledon, alone. I feared the worst, as I knew a little more about his past than you did. I've been searching for him for the past week, and only now did I find him. You've changed much, young Virgil. Yes, Joaquin. And I have seen much, but I still remember the lessons you taught me. They have brought me through all of this, even through death itself. I knew from the moment I saw you that you were special somehow, that you were meant for more than the life you left behind. And I see that I was right. The living one could not have chosen a better companion. You will be a powerful ally in the battle to come. Well, since I left Stillwater, I've been trying to find out if the prophecies say any more about what it is you're supposed to be doing. Unless I've missed something, Arunax hasn't yet returned. What have you found out? Ah, that is quite a tale. You've done very well, and I think your journey is approaching the end. No, I think that you're in capable hands. I am no longer needed here. But I'm sure I can find something to keep me busy. Good luck. May the spirit of Nasruddin be with you and guide your path. Farewell. I was just saying that I came here tonight to face my past and to avenge my brother whom I betrayed. These men were the men who killed him. I knew that I wouldn't survive, but the weight of his death and my cowardice were too much to bear any longer. And here you found me. Yes, of course. Yes, I... Well, I saw Lawrence, you see. I saw him on the other side. I didn't really 
barely speak, but I felt that he was at peace, that he held no ill will towards me. That lessened my guilt, allowed me to see that those choices I'd made were made by someone else, another man, and that I had left that man behind. It was, well, peaceful, I suppose. I remember very little. I have memories of a gray place, warm, silent. There was no pain there, no suffering. And I remember feeling that it was boundless. A place that was no place, not a prison nor a punishment, but freedom without end. I did in a strange way. You've no idea what it's like to let go of everything that constitutes our struggles in this life. Pain, greed, envy, guilt. It's liberating, even in its emptiness. I can honestly say that I wanted to come back, to finish what I'd began with you, but that a small part of me wanted very badly to stay. And I think that I carry that great place with me always, a small piece of death. Yes, of course. It was, well, I did, yes, of course. I know you would have, but this was a journey that I had to make myself. <laughs> This all sounds so bloody serious, doesn't it? This wise and introspective gibberish doesn't fit me very well. I'll do my best to put a cap on it. But it has changed me for the better. Yes, of course. Yes, of course I will journey with you. As your protector and as your friend. As if I've got a bloody choice. Aren't we all just pawns of prophecy? Hmm. <laughs> and something else. I'm not sure, but I think that something has happened to me as a result of all this. I may be better equipped to face Aranax when the time comes. Yes, let us continue on. Good luck to you, living one. What is it you need? 